you said a really interesting comment a week ago that I want to dive a little deeper into more. You said you believe that President Biden could easily beat pre or former President Trump in a push-up contest. Voters are concerned about both Trump and Biden's age, but more so with Biden's. Do you think those concerns are valid? Uh, no, I really don't. Uh, I think Trump is crazy, so I think that's valid. Um, but I, but I, I think. Yes. Does Biden stumble over words and things like that? Yeah. But, you know, the honest truth is, and I, you know, I'm not terribly close to Biden. I spent an hour with him in an airport once. I had a much closer relationship with almost every other Democratic president going back before Carter. Um, and so but I have to say, I think Biden may be the best on domestic issues, maybe the best uh, president we've had since Lyndon Johnson. I mean, when you think of what he did now, Clinton did a lot, especially for some of the governors, because he had that connection. But Biden has basically fundamentally changed a lot of things for a lot of people. Uh, if you're a Democrat, um, you care about equal representation for women and minorities on the courts. He's done more of that than anybody, including Barack o Obama. Um, the, the Inflation Reduction Act put jobs in rural areas which have been hemorrhaging jobs for generations. Uh, and that's all changed. Imagine going to the picket lines. Now, for your audience, who's uh, probably business oriented and more Republican, although, you know, it's a thoughtful audience, um, that's a big deal. Uh, it may not be an attractive deal, but it sends a pretty strong figure to uh, uh, message to working people that he cares about them. And I think he does. That's his whole career. This guy is a centrist and he has gotten a tremendous amount done. Uh, and I think that's what you need is you need a guy who's going to do things. He is obviously totally capable. He is not John F. Kennedy, uh, uh, who was so dashing and so uh, erudite and so forth and so on. But if you look at the that the day job he does every single day, he gets stuff done and, and more quickly than one might think. Imagine he would have had immigration solved by now if it hadn't been for Trump and the lack of backbone of the Republicans. He had he got put together, giving up some points that the Democrats wanted. He put together with Mitch McConnell an immigration bill, which had to overcome the you know the nut, nuttiness of the right wing senators. But there are a lot fewer of those than there are um, uh, in in the House. And then the House Republicans killed a bill that was put together by Republicans in the Senate and Democrats in the Senate. It, it would have fixed a lot of the immigration problems, and so. I, you know, I think Biden's doing a great job, I have to say. And does he stumble over words? Sure. So what? He's competent, qualified and doing a really good job. Do you think, though, in turn, that the Democratic Party's messaging surrounding President Biden's mental acuity has been strong enough? Because you're giving a litany here of his accomplishments, but more voters than not are concerned about his mental acuity. As we know, they're also concerned about Trump. He has made plenty of gaffes on the campaign trail. He mixed up Nikki or Nikki Haley and Nancy Pelosi. He also mixed up the president of Tur or Hungary's prime minister. He called the leader of Turkey. But a special counsel report described Biden as a quote elderly man with a poor memory. So how does the how does the Democratic Party how does the Biden administration get past this this roadblock here for them? Just you just beat Trump in a push-up contest. <laughs> but don't take him on in a cheeseburger eating contest. But but do you think President Biden should say, hey, Trump, I want to debate you. I will debate you. I will get out there. He didn't do the Super Bowl interview. Do you think he needs to be out there more mixing it up? He's going to be out there in about two days when the State of the Union comes down. Let's see. That's a big test for him. Let's see how he does. But what I'd really like to see is, is people have some appreciation of the day to day record. I mean, you can complain and you should about the inflation and the food industry rip offs and all that kind of stuff. If you think Donald Trump, who kissed the you know what of the, every corporation in the United States, as long as they gave him money to do it, is going to do anything about inflation. Uh, I think you got another thing coming. Um, so Biden is working his butt off to do the right things. He's mostly successful. He's also good at bipartisan things, which Trump was never good at. Uh, and he also Biden understands government. And I think Trump has no understanding government. But for Trump, it's all about Trump. For Biden, it's about the country.